Hey friends, it's Jessie. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to an A to Z project pan update. Can y'all believe it's been a month already? I literally was looking through my film schedule and I could have sworn I just filmed this update maybe two weeks ago, but it's been a month. But we do have a lot of fun progress to share. I can't wait for you guys to see all that I accomplished this month. So let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, friends, I don't want to drag this intro on any longer because we have some exciting updates today. So I'm going to just scooch on over and we're going to start with the oldest shade in my current rotation. That comes from my ABH Riviera palette. And the shade we've been working on is for letter I and it is the shade Inheritance, which is this yellow shimmer right up at the corner. I am so proud of myself. I used Inheritance five times since last update for a grand total of 24 uses in the project. And as I was doing my makeup today to get ready to film this update, I was not expecting to hit pan, but I hit pan. I honestly thought it was going to take me quite a few more uses because although the ABH formula is very soft and very easy to work through, I feel like sometimes the pans can be a little bit deceiving and I want to just go touch up one little spot. I'd already done my eye look. I just want to touch up one little spot that I felt like didn't have the most impact on it and... I hit pan. Honestly, I've used Inheritance just like I'm using it today, just as a lid topper or a lid shade. I just used Inheritance all over my lid today. I literally went in with some mattes from my Nomad Provence palette and put Inheritance all over the lid just to create a nice sparkly moment. There have been a couple of uses as well where I've done a green and yellow look because I'm working on greens in both my A to Z project pan and my pan those eyeshadows. So I would do a yellow in the inner part and then green in the outer part. So I've kind of mixed and matched how I've used Inheritance, but primarily I've just done all yellow looks with this one. I am working on another yellow that you will see later on in the project, but I'm very happy with how Inheritance is looking. And now this palette has two pans in it, so that's very exciting. And I'm excited just to have this palette rolling out because if I'm being completely honest, my goal was to hit pan on this shade for this update just so I could roll it out because I was tired of seeing this palette in my everyday drawer. But there we go, we have Inheritance. Super excited about that, but the fun doesn't stop there because my next shade is letter M and the shade that we are working on, it comes from my ColourPop Through My Eyes palette. It is Mesmerize. And as you can probably tell, this is my second pan for the update. I only used Mesmerize two times since my last update for a grand total of nine uses in the project and of course a beautiful shiny pan. Again, an unexpected pan. I literally hit this pan yesterday, so that is two pans in two days. Mesmerize is honestly a very crumbly shade. It, I'm sure you can probably tell just looking at it, the kind of texture it is. It's a very chunky, glittery, shimmer shade and it's kind of one of those foiled glitter shades so it comes off in flakes and then you just kind of smooth that onto the eye but I feel like every time I use this I was getting an insane amount of fallout in the pan of course I would try and use all the stuff that kicked up but there was a little bit that I wasn't able to use that kind of fell onto the floor or whatever so two uses and I'm sure you'll see from the progress photos it looks very loved now so Nine uses total to hit pan. I use this one primarily as a lid shade as well. I feel like that's just kind of how I like to use my shimmers. I'm trying to remember the two looks that I did with Mesmerize over the past month. I know yesterday I just did a warm neutral crease and just popped it on the lid as just a quick and easy everyday kind of look. Regardless, we have a pan in that shade. So the second pan rolling out in this update. That's pretty exciting, guys. And... And I stuck true to one month per update. None of this five months between updates. I, one month and we hit two pans. If that won't motivate me, I don't know what will. Let's move along to letter N. And for letter N, we've been working out of my Jeffree Star Banana Palette. And the shade that we've been working on is Never Bitter, which is the shimmer right at the bottom. These have the really fun, is that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, octagon pans. They have the fun octagon pans. I honestly don't know how I feel about the octagons. I think it's an interesting choice, um, but Never Bitter is just this shimmery gold shade. I consider it more of a yellow because it's in a yellow palette, but it has this kind of like green gold reflect situation going on. Let me see if you guys can see 
it kind of reflects a little green and it looks a little yellow. So I use Never Bitter today just very lightly in the inner part of my eye look just to add a little bit of brightness there. But for the most part, that's pretty much how I've been using it. If I've done a yellow look, I will either use it as the shimmer on my lid for that look or I will top whatever look I'm doing with Never Bitter. I've also used Never Bitter a few times as an inner corner highlight and that has been really easy to work into looks. I wouldn't use Never Bitter as an everyday inner corner highlight, but if the right look, the right color combos, if I'm doing a green look, if I'm doing a yellow look, something gold, I feel like it would make a really pretty inner corner. So I have used it a few times that way. I honestly don't know how long it'll take me to hit pan. I've only used Never Bitter five times since last update for a grand total of 10 uses in the project and 10 uses, it's already looking a lot more loved than it was when I rolled it in. You can see that there is a pretty sizable dip. I feel like the pan is getting kind of, not necessarily hard pan, but the shade is almost like oxidizing a little bit right in the center so it looks deeper than it is. I'm not sure how deep these are because they are the octagon pans and the only Jeffree shades I have panned have been the squares. But from experience, these square pans, extremely difficult to hit pan on. They're super, super deep. So I'm expecting this one to be in for a while. This is going to be a long haul shade. So we're just going to keep rolling with it. Never better 10 uses. Not bad for two months. Next, we're going to talk about letter P, which comes from my Beauty Bay Dark Fantasy palette. This is one of my favorite palettes, especially for this time of year. The shade that we've been working on is Plasma, which is this top, almost like shamrock green shade. I've only used Plasma one time since our last update when we rolled it in, so one use total. It doesn't look any different, but these pans are very, very shallow. I have panned Beauty Bay shadows before. It does not take a lot of effort. They're pretty powdery and also very, very shallow, which is why I think they are so affordable. They are so dang affordable. I think it was like 20 bucks for this palette. Plasma, I don't think will take me very long to hit pan on once I start focusing my energy and efforts towards this shade. However, I have been focusing a lot this past update for the warm tones, so the yellow on my eyes today mesmerize the bronzy orange and in my pan those eyeshadows there are a lot of green shadows so I kind of flip-flop the first half of the month I focus really hard on my A to Z whereas the second half of the month I focus on my pan those eyeshadows not saying I don't use them all all month long but I feel like the effort that I put towards one project versus the other is kind of divided 50 50 so I feel like in the coming weeks when I'm really focusing on those greens in my pan those eyeshadows project I will definitely get a lot more use out of plasma so we should have some good progress for next update I will have to go through my A to Z project pan photos to double check how I used plasma but I'm thinking it was an all green look because I tend to do a lot of all green looks I just really like green eyeshadow on myself but I'm hoping that we will have some good progress for next update on Plasma. And the last shade I have to talk about in the project comes from my ColourPop Midnight Masquerade palette. It is letter Q. The shade we've been working on is Quasimodo, which is this very dark brown right in the bottom row. I used Quasimodo 11 times since my last update and rolling it in for 11 total uses in the project. It's a very easy one to work into looks. I literally smudged it on my lower lash line today just to deepen up right underneath in the outer corner of my lower lashes. But I have been doing a lot of warm neutral looks, so it has been very easy to work into, like the outer corner, smudging my winged liner, doing a lower lash line moment, even popping it in the crease for a very, very dark all neutral look. It's a pretty easy one to work through. These shades, as you can see, I've hit a couple pans already in this palette. These ones are the smaller circular pans, but they are pretty deep. So I'm expecting a pretty long haul effort on this shade. Quasimodo, because it is a dark shade, I'm using less of it than say I did when I used Pip. I feel like it will take me a pretty long time to hit pan, but I don't know if you can tell just with how reflective the packaging is, maybe in the progress photos you'll see. I am starting to see some use and some wear on this shade and it's only been 11 uses. So I'm thinking if I just continue to use it consistently like I did over the past month, I will be able to see some significant progress in the coming months. I don't think I'll have pan by next update. I feel like maybe by the end of the year if we're lucky, 
but I do feel like I will be able to eventually hit pan on it. And because I've kind of just turned this into a rolling project pan anyway, I'm not really pushing myself to try and hit pan on X amount of shades by the end of the year, just because this is more of a casual rolling style project. But there we go, Quasimodo. It was, it's been a fun one to work on. Honestly, I'm not mad about it. This is one of my favorite ColourPop palettes and one of my older ColourPop palettes. So it's been fun to just continue to use this palette as a whole and find fun creative ways to use a very dark brown shade. So with all of the updates out of the way, we do have two shades to roll in, but very quickly, I just wanna to touch on my progress, my pan percentage. If you're not already following my Project Pan Those Eyeshadows, I highly recommend. If you like this series, I imagine you would love that series just as much. It is a panning project very similar to this one. However, instead of picking the shades myself, it's completely randomized, so I don't know what I'm gonna work on at any given time, but I do always update my pan percentage over there. And I posted my last update, I wanna say, 10 or 11 days ago as this video is going up and my pan percentage then was 1.52 percent. I did mention in that video that I hadn't updated my spreadsheet with all of the PR palettes that I had received or any of the declutters that I have done. So I have fully updated my spreadsheet so we are completely up to date on numbers and as of this very moment today my pan percentage increased by 0.05 percent. We are now sitting at 1.57 percent pan in my entire eyeshadow collection, which to me is very exciting because if you know me, I have a huge eyeshadow collection. I'm an eyeshadow lover. I love eyeshadow palettes and having 1.57% pan in my collection is very motivating. I'm very pleased to see how many palettes are getting loved. I figured I would just sprinkle those numbers in for you guys because I'm nosy and like to know how much people are actually using their collection and to have 1.57% pan, that does not include empties. I take my empties out of my total percentage, but that is just the current shades with pan in them. So that's pretty exciting. We have two letters to roll in. We are rolling in letters R and S, and I already know exactly which shades I wanna roll in. So for letter R, I am pulling out my Jeffree Star Conspiracy Palette. This was in collaboration with Shane Dawson, and this palette literally broke the internet when did this come out, like 2018, 2019? For letter R, I've decided to roll in this corner shade right here. This is Branch. It is just a beautiful white shimmer, and I think it would make the most beautiful inner corner highlight. That is pretty much how I like to use it, and I just really wanted a nice inner corner shade to work on because I feel like I haven't had that in a while. More so, I feel like this will inspire me to be more creative in seeing how I can create maybe black and white looks, white and other color looks. I'm really trying to dabble in white recently and having white as a shade on my eyes and not just as an inner corner or as a blending shade. So I am excited to see how I can use Ranch in the coming weeks. And for letter S, we are diving back into my Urban Decay Naked Heat palette. Again, an oldie but goodie. And the shade I've chosen is Sauced. So we already have Pan in these first two shades. So we're gonna be working on this third shade, Sauced. And I chose Sauced because it is a really nice, warm, neutral shade and I feel like it will go perfectly, not only with Quasimodo, but also Never Bitter, and just with Fall and pulling out some of those warmer neutral looks. I feel like I could use this a lot in my everyday makeup, like when I need something quick for work, I can just pop sauced into the crease, maybe Never Bitter on the lid. It's just a very quick and easy shade, so I think I would get a lot of use out of it over the coming months. But that, my friends, is today's update complete. This is our current color story, very warm neutral. It is giving fall. I'm excited to see all of the progress that we make over the next month. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. If you do enjoy panning content like this, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave so you never miss out on any of my panning projects. And with that, I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye, friends. Bye.